What is up you guys? It's your girl Jam and I'm back again with another video. So as you can see from the title, uh, this video is a review on this lace glue called Lace on Lock. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, I bumped up on this page uh, on Instagram probably like half a year ago, I want to say. I've been following them for a while. Um, Maybe it was sooner than half a year. However long it was, I started following them and their products had really good reviews. Um, this is a waterproof lace glue. I will insert the link to their Instagram page below um, so you guys can check them out, see their reviews and their videos and such. But this glue is so good. I'll insert some clips of me installing the wick from last night. Um, honestly, I've used so many wig glues over the years and this is definitely like the best one so far. It is waterproof. It says waterproof, strong hold and humidity resistant. But yeah, you guys, honestly. So when I just like started using it, like I realized the consistency was a lot different than Ghost Bond, which is the glue that I was using right before this one. Um, Ghost Bond glue, it's thick, but it's not as thick as this. Like the consistency is a little bit runnier. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I kind of like the fact that it's thicker because then when you squeeze it, not a lot comes out, so you're not really wasting product. I did this is a 360 wig, so I can show you this. Back. So, this is a 360 lace wig, I don't know if you guys can see that, but and I glued it all the way around. Sorry, my, my chair is so squeaky. I'm so sorry. Um, I glued it all the way around and I did three layers. Um, this is very, very fast drying. So I do suggest that you do it in sections. Um, don't do like the whole front hairline because it'll just get too dry and then it may not stick properly. So how I usually do it is I do the middle, then I'll do either side and then I'll do the same thing in the back. But in the back, I do the sides first and then I do the very bottom of the hairline. Um, I find that helps with a flatter like application. I mean, I am bald. Um, I don't know if you guys know that. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you can see pictures of me bald, but I have no hair like bald like this, skin bald. So either way, like my wigs do apply a lot flatter because I don't have to worry about cornrows um, or anything like that. Um, if you guys would like to see a video of me like fully like installing my wig from uh like putting on the stocking cap to you know putting on the glue all of that um let me know so i can do a more like in-depth um video of how i install my wigs and how i tint my lace to make it look super natural um yeah i do wear a stocking cap because well Although I'm bald, when the hair grows out, it gets really itchy and like the friction with the wig, it just, I'm, I'll be scratching my head all day. So I wear a wig cap anyways. But um, I, and this wig glue also came with this remover. It's called Unlocked Lace Glue Remover. So it's like this. So obviously, you know, after a week or so, I'll probably do an updated picture to show you guys how the wig is looking. And I'll just keep doing that as long as I have it on, just giving you updated pictures every week. It says it could be, it says that the, um, what's that word? You could keep it on for four to six weeks, depending on how good the maintenance is. So you want to make sure that you're taking good care of the hair. You know, you're not, you know, not, I don't know not taking care of it you want to just make sure you're taking good care of it okay if it looks a little dirty you know clean around the perimeter fix the glue maybe just so it stays nice but um yeah you guys this is really freaking good like like the shit this, like y'all see that I'm like this is not going nowhere Literally nowhere. No one can come yaga me. No one can come do anything because this shit is secure. Like no lift, nothing. If I keep doing this, I'll just pull my skin off because this shit's not moving. This shit is not moving at all. Um, I'm just so impressed with this so far. There's only been one day. I mean, that's 
totally fine we'll see what it's like after a week but um this video does not need to be that long um i just wanted to give you guys info on it oh and for pricing oh my god okay i have all that stuff on my phone which i'm recording on right now i want to say okay i think this was like 22 dollars and then this was also around that same price all together with shipping and everything i think i paid like 55 and 55 us so i paid like 70 dollars i think canadian maybe something like that okay i will insert the proper details below so please read the description box just so I could give you the proper information because that's probably not accurate. But I know each of these were about like 20 bucks to 22 bucks, um, which is a great price. Cheaper than Ghost Bond Blue, um, which lifts anyways, although they say it's freaking humidity resistant, sweat proof, lies. Because I work out, you guys. Like I work out and you know, I'll be sweating and whatever. I don't keep my wigs on that long anyway. Usually I don't keep them on for more than a week and that's like pushing it. But when I'm working out, I don't want to have to worry about my wigs lifting you know what i'm saying i want to put it on and have it on like that's it i don't want to have to worry about fixing it every day after my workout so i hope i don't have to do that because that would kind of suck yeah but yeah that's it you guys um if you'd like to see any other videos if you would like me to do a video of this casual face beat, let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will insert the clips of me doing my hair from last night so you guys can kind of see it. I'll just lapse it though, do it very quickly. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. More videos to come, lots of stuff in the works, so stay tuned. <laughs>